I know one thing y'all gonna stop stressing these folk out at these fast food restaurants. I'm trying to told you whatever happened to your food at the fast food restaurant. Y'all are here slick rapping and shit, saying some fly shit to people while people dealing with the food. I've already told y'all out here. Hush up. Sometimes, damn it. It's at, at, at certain times, you should not say slick shit because you don't control your order. But you don't want to believe me, so I'm going to go ahead on and let the baby go ahead on Show you exactly what I'm talking about. Come on, sugar. You bring some this nigga this shit, yo. Oh my god, yo. Oh. Niggas is wild. Let's that baby. All the time I think you talk about the next order. Go drop me your um. We can do it again. Don't even worry about it. You bring some this nigga this shit, yo. Oh my god, yo. Oh. Niggas is wild. I gotta see it again because after she rubbed the bun on, did is that the bun that she used? Now that I'm paying attention, because she might have slipped it off in the in the garbage. You bring some this nigga this shit, yo. Oh my god, yo. Oh. No, nah, she used that goddamn bun. Listen, whoever orders she out there making, listen. You done got wet, wet flow shoe, um, grease, um, sauce, wet, wet flow shoe, wet flow trans fat, grease, high cholesterol on the bottom of the skid, slip resistant shoe and shit sauce. Oh, y'all got nail sound. Now, I don't know if this is a checkerberg or a checkerberg. I don't know what the hell going on. But um, listen, because a lot of people say, well, she's going to lose her job now because they done saw her face and they done saw the blessings and stuff. So they're going to. They can be able to point out, because from the side, that shot like, all right, now, sugar, see you up in there. I'm just trying to tell you something, going to date with just something by your two checkerberg, bitch, because I like the way you look out here. Now, that's spoiling, bitch. We ain't really with that spoiling shit, but you can get cheese on both of them. Really, I ain't tripping because the player might, you know what I'm saying, like you after we done doing what we need to go on and done did. That's what's up, but y'all can't be out here slick rap. Listen, you're supposed to be nice to people who are dealing with your food. Now, I know that's something that you probably weren't raised with. That's something that, damn it. People ain't told your ass to hush. <clears throat> Place your order. Smile. Be nice. Now, I know, I know sometimes a lot of us come up there with that food making, the food service etiquette and shit. Could you change your gloves for me? <laughs> Because a lot of people think inside these restaurants that people is being like real sanitary and shit because they got on the gloves, but they fell to realize when they got to grab the bun and grab the utensils and grab all of these different type of things and stuff and they touching the counter, touching the paper and all that flat shit, that's cross-contamination. Big word. Damn it, I'm smart. I'm trying to go ahead and tell you something. Rub, rub and touch it on their face and the hand and shit like that. They talking. So spit comes out on your hand and again, spit is a chemical, biological warfare Um thing or something gets felony out here and they got their screen but you think that the bitch being real real nice with your food no 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 so when you stand out cute at the window could you change your gloves for me <laughs> that's what's up listen don't tell the people to change they got their gloves just let people go on and make your food because it's gonna have less cross contamination than if you said something to them and god bitch ain't smiling and shit and you just like you know what baby could you could you please just change them, baby? If you don't like compliment a bit behind that, baby, um, like your hair too, sugar. Where you get your hair did at? It's like, like you better be like making some conversation or something, but you really don't want to tell a bitch how to do the goddamn job while they making your food, because then you end up with the extra sauce that she had them right there when she had them put on her. Look, they little something too. I'm trying to tell you something. Oh, pretty skin. That's what's up. That metal and popping out that I'm, I'm trying to tell you. But baby, I think you're supposed to have on a head net or something, but I don't know, like checkers required. She got to have some cheering. I'm trying to take some lip. God damn it, that little young me gun churn out here in these streets. Making your sandwiches. Ooh, yeah, boy. That's some skid resistant seasoning salt sauce that she put on there. And she ain't putting up. Way to let at like she touched the metal back there because she about to slip. So she caught herself. You know what I'm saying? And came back. And she touched the camera and continued to make the sandwich and stuff. So listen, just 
Just be nice to people. Don't, 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 don't. Nope. Try and tell you something. Nope. I know you want to say some flash shit because they probably take it too goddamn long. You know, stood up there for 13 and a half minutes and b- bitches fast food. Fast being under six minutes. We supposed to have you in and out. I'm, t- I'm talking from, from a managerial position. But I ain't going to go ahead and tell my business about what, how, how much I'm educated in the food industry. But we ain't going to do that. I'm just trying to tell you something. Hell, I used to work there. I think I worked check like two and a half days or something like shit like that. Because I was trying to find out the secret to the meat and shit. And then when you find out, when you sprinkle it and you cook it the meat, it just salt and pepper. I'm like, damn, I'm using the wrong type of animal at home. So maybe they use an Angus beef or something. Can somebody tell me? Because I didn't really go to the freezer back then. Hell, but they wouldn't tell you whether it's Angus or something. They just said 100% beef. That's what's up. Shit, shit could be horse and every goddamn thing. I, shit tastes good, though. That's what's up. So shout out to Checkers for keeping the employee. Cause, hell, maybe, maybe she rubbed the shit on the floor like... Because she was trying to pick it up. Maybe like she dropped it. See, di- we could be seeing it wrong. Maybe it's by mistake on purpose. Like she was probably, um, yeah. Yeah, it kind of looked like she moved the bun or was trying to flip the bun or pick the bun and it fell out of hand or something as she was trying to grab it because the flow got the extra sauce down there on it. It was like slippery, so it was slipping out of hand and she was going around and then she was able to pick it up because like waste. Like, as a manager, you try to keep labor costs down, and you try to ke- try to keep the food, um, the food trash count thing. I forgot that part of waste. Uh, waste. You try to keep waste down and stuff. So she didn't really want to waste a bun, or either wait for the other buns to come through the little thing that you put them in the toaster thing that they slide on now. Because we probably been waiting like thirteen and a half minutes, like I had said earlier. So uh, I really can't judge her. Appreciate y'all for rocking. I'm out.